Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, about two days ago, Governor Paranya had an event at Buhungu Stadium to celebrate the 10 years of working for Kamega County. In this event, Governor Paranya was meeting with the county staff and the other invited guests. Malala was not invited into this event, but imagine that it imagined that Senator Malala showed up to showed up in Governor Oparanya's event at Buhungu Stadium. And the people are asking questions why Malala decided to attend Oparanya event when we know the lines have been drawn. Oparanya is in Azimio, Malala is in Kenya Kwanza. Oparanya is campaigning for Raila Odinga. Malala is campaigning for William Samway Ruto. That's the question. So I wanted to watch this video shortly here. After that, we want to understand why Malala decided to storm into Governor Oparanya event. Governor Cleo Malala. Kakamega County. Let's go. Governor Wetu, he will build roads. Yeah. He will give people medical cover. He will make sure drugs are in hospitals. He will put water in every house. Hold. Umoja Nyungufu. Governor Wetu, ni Cleo Malala. Governor Wetu, ni Cleo Malala. Tuko nyuma yako, Cleo Malala. Ata jenga bara, bara. Ata hakikisha da wazipo hospitalini. Ata wapa watu bima ya matibabu. Ata weka maji katika kila nyumba. Tukutame kaka mega county Governor wetu ni Cleo Malala Governor wetu ni Cleo Malala Tuko nyuma yako Cleo Malala Governor wetu ni Cleo Malala Kutano hapa kwa Buhungu Stadium Tumeona kwamba Gavana Oparanya Anataka kutumia nafasi yake Ati hizi siku za mwisho Akitembea ku launch projects za county Anatembea na ule jamaa wake baraza Ati akipeana vitu za county Sasa mimi nimesema Mimi nimesema Ndaka tusikizane Mimi nimesema Kwamba project za county Hata mimi niseleta wa county ya kakamega Kila maali governor uparanya Atenda kulaunch project Sisi na wanaichi tutakua tunaenda kwa tunaloch na ee Hatuta ruhusu Governor ambaya natoka Atuchagulie mutu ambaya Kona makesi za uwizi Kotini kule Simulajua ujamani muizi Simulajua deputy wake ni muizi 
nyinyi mtakubali ati mambo ya, ya mwezi wawili alafu tena wanasema leo wanasema ati baraza akiwa gavana ayu msavula akue deputy governor ati minister wa finance wanataka kupatia toto huyo now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request you might be watching this channel but you're not subscribed so my humble request please consider subscribing so at another time once we release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our videos to more viewers back to our discussion now from that video you can tell immediately after malala attending oparana event he went to the rally to explain why he decided to attend that event and the reason why he's going to <laughs> work with oparana in every project he will be launching in kakamega why now and not any other time when we know that governor oparana has been performing and launching a lot of pro pro uh, project but malala was not appearing with the, with the governor Oparana in any of those projects when he has been launching. There are several reasons. This meeting was the last meeting governor Oparana was having with the county staff. And the only thing remaining, it will be just handing over. And therefore it was significant for governor Oparana with the Kakamega county staff and some of his supporters. The last time having the last meal together. Governor Oparanya wanted to show concern to his staff and assure them that in the direction he's taking them, their job is safe and their well-being. That was the reason. Now, why Malala get crashing into Oparanya event? <laughs> Number one, Governor Oparanya has a candidate on Azimio ticket by the name Fernandez Baraza. The same governor Paranya has been rated as the best performing governor in Western region. And still Oparanya is among the top five performing governors in Kenya. That means governor Paranya has really delivered to the people of Kakamega County. There's nothing you can complain about the project and the leadership of Governor Oparanya. Because of that, Oparanya is finding a reason why he can convince the people of Kakamega to take a specific political direction, plan a sense of uh, direction, and these people vote in that align. Because of that, Malala is sensing a danger. If Oparanya had not performed. There was no way Malala was going to associate himself with Governor Oparanya. I'm just looking, looking into that scenario and compare it with the situation in Vihiga County. The only thing that will make Vihiga Governor Wilba Otichiro maybe to win the Vihiga seat, it will be because of the division in Kenya Kwanza and the the move by the Maragoli people to have two candidates on ballot, Akaranga and Alfred Agoy. If it were not for that, then our teacher was not standing a chance in, in Vihiga because he did not perform well. So if Malala was in Vihiga County, he would have not associated himself with the teacher. So the reason here is that Governor Paranya has performed. Because of that, even if you look for things to tie him on as far as the uh, how he did not perform well in, in Kakamega County, you find it is two things and so petty. Associate with the Paranya and in that way you are looking for endorsement from Oparanya by associating with him. It will not be a direct endorsement. But just with the reason why, with the reason just you have associated with him, then in that way you have already seek an endorsement from Oparanya. So that Oparanya people and supporters will not see you as an enemy to Governor Oparanya. So Malala was looking for indirect endorsement 
from Wycliffe, Ombeta, or Paranya. Now, the people governor of Paranya was meeting with him, mainly, as I said, they were count staffs. These people are voters in Kakamega County. And so, Manana was reaching out to these people in this event by just associating with the Oparanya and seek their vote to tell them that in case they get to power, he will have no problem with them. He will not sack them. He will work with them. That's why he was attending this event, just to reach out to Kakamega County staffs so that when it will come to voting, these people can vote with it. Because now this was also a campaign meeting. Because there's a direction Oparanya is taking them to, but there's a direction Manala wants to take these people into, in as much they are a governor of Paranya staff. So we cannot ignore that. Remember these people, if you have like 200 of them, they are coming from different families. And you can, you can tell how they can influence the voting pattern. So you have like 200 or 500 people, and in every family, they get to an extent of convincing about 10 people to vote with them. So if you have 500 of them times 10, I think you're talking about good votes, amounting almost to 10, is it 5,000 or what? Almost 5,000. 10 times 500. If you have 1,000 1, people, 1,000 times 10, almost 10,000 or 5,000 vote you have direct on your side. So there's an impact these people will have on ground. Number three, Governor Paranya was officially making, Governor Oparanya was officially drawing a line between being a Kakamega governor and now taking a role as a campaign manager for Azmio and Raila Molodinga in Kakamega County and the Western Region. For those who have been keenly watching Governor Paranya, immediately after that meeting, Governor Paranya has hit the ground running to campaign for ODM aspirants in Kakamega County. He's making three, four, five rallies on a day. Meeting the people and campaigning for ODM and some of the other as mere as candidates in Kakamega County. So Oprana was officially leaving his duty and now going to campaign. So it was significant for Oprana and to mark an end of an era and the beginning of a new era. Remember, if they're going to win this election, Oparanya has been eh, promised for a, a finance cabinet secretary slot. So he will be doing another job in another level and another capacity and not this one. And so Malala has been enjoying campaigning in Kakamega without a proper battle from the Azmio side. And when Oparanya was getting out officially to campaign for Azimio, it means Oparanya was going to rebattle back to what Senator Malala has been campaigning on in Kakamega County. That means Malala is saying that he cannot meet much Governor Oparanya and he cannot fit in his shoes. That's why he's going for his blessing by just associating with him. Because now, Governor Paranya is out to campaign. Before it was just these people campaigning there, but no order. That's why I was saying, if Azmiya is not properly organized, they will not be able to respond to the lies that is being planted by the Kenya Kwanza side. But now it is clear, Governor Paranya is out now to plant a sense of direction. So because of that, Manana decided to attend that event. And as we are speaking now, we have the Azimio side campaigning vigorously in the Kakamega County, and we have the Kenya Kwanza side. Those who have not watched those videos, just go to Kenya News K. That is our another sister channel. I have posted 
all of the activities taking place in Kakamega County and I'll still post and the entire Western region. Just go to that channel, you will watch the entire videos to understand how the Azimio is performing in Western versus the Kenya Kwanzaa side. Thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you.